Hey everyone, welcome back. It's Melanie, your She Shed Scrapper. So today I am back with a one page layout using the six by six paper pad Wander by My Mind's Eye. I was out in the She Shed and decided to start kind of de-stashing. And one of the things I kind of decided to de-stash were my six by six and six by eight paper pads. I don't use them very often and kind of have made the decision to probably not buy any more. But when I was going through them, I found three in particular that really didn't have very many papers left. And so I decided I would kind of come up with a mini series for the month, um, kind of using up my six by six paper pads. Again, this is only three of the paper pads. Um, I'm getting rid of probably the rest of them or most of the rest of them, to be quite honest. Um, but knew I had embellishments for this one. So on Saturdays this month, I'm going to be using up six by six paper pads. For this one, I decided to kind of stagger my photos at a diet or not my photos, my papers at a diagonal down the page. Um, I really love the colors of this collection. Love the kind of outdoorsy travel feel of this collection. So I chose the diagonal striped, the kind of compass paper, and then a paper that has words. I was going to just have it kind of in the middle of the page, but then decided I didn't like how little of it showed once I got my photos where they were going. So I decided to cut it in half and then tuck it, you know, one piece on the top and one piece on the bottom. Um, while I was kind of explaining this little mini series, I did cut down the one photo four by four, uh, back them on white, and then used another piece of cardstock. So I double matted or double backed these uh, layout or the photos, sorry. Um, but now I decided to fill in the white space, um, which is one thing, white space and I, I just can't handle. So I decided I was gonna fill it in using kind of some background stamps. So I'm kind of just giving myself an idea of where the papers and the photos are going to lay so I can kind of stamp around those. I did end up using three different colors and now I can't remember. I know that the blue is Harbor. I think it's Bundled Sage, um, Distress Oxide. Um, the Harbor is the close to my heart ink. Sorry, I drew a blank there. And then the darker green, oh, I can't remember what it's called. I'm so sorry. I know it's not mowed lawn. Mowed lawn was too bright. Um, so I decided to use those three colors. They matched kind of the best. Um, I didn't really have the yellow and really there's only that one little triangle of yellow in it. Um, and this is for one of my boys albums. So I didn't kind of want to go with the coral, uh, but these three worked well and I am doing second generation stamping and even a third generation there. So I've explained it in previous videos. So I apologize if you've heard this before, but that is where you stamp the image on the page or on a scrap piece if you honestly don't want the bright image and then scrap or stamp it again before you re-ink the stamp. Um, so I did that. It just gives a different shade of the same color, um, kind of just a lighter shade. So I did kind of use those background stamps and then there's these kind of splatter stamps as well that I um, tucked in and filled in some of the space there. So I had to make sure you see that I have to move my photo or yeah, my photos up a little bit because I had to make sure I covered up the lines I drew on the paper um, and kind of follow that template. So once I kind of figured that out, I just committed to the placement of that and I was really happy with the kind of mixed media look and feel about the layout too. I'm loving the stamps, uh, kind of like the background stamps that Close to My Heart has. I feel like it's such a mess-free, um, a mess-free mixed media, so which is kind of hard to do. So once I kind of got the background, I 
again, knew that I had a little bit of the stickers left and quite a bit of the ephemera left. I did go through once before and get rid of some stuff, gave some stuff to my son to use, uh, but still have so much of it left over. So that is kind of one reason I decided to pick this layout. And I probably will do a, another layout using this same collection because I have so much of it. And actually, after I recorded this, I realized I do have a couple of 12 by 12 pieces of paper left over as well that I might mix in that final uh, six by six kind of series video. I needed a title for this layout and struggled finding one I liked. Um, so I went into my stash and tried to find a title. I found this all this happiness and just didn't love how it looked on the phrase paper. So I kind of decided, you know, I'll look at some of the other stamps I had pulled out um, and see what I could use. I love this one. I just got this one from the um, Stamptacular sale a couple months ago at this point, I think, but this is the first time I'm using it. And you can see that I thought about stamping right directly on the page, but then I remembered I can stamp. I have the black ink. I can stamp on colored paper. Um, and I had this scrap piece of cardstock that matches the collection, had it tucked in with the six by six paper pad. So I decided to use it and stamp on it and then just cut it out. Um, I could have fussy cut it, because, but because it was straight edges, I kind of used my paper trimmer and then for the dovetail used my scissors and just loved the way that that looks. Um, and was so happy that I realized I could cut it out with, or stamp it on colored paper. It just kind of opens up I guess the embellishment world, really. It's an endless thing with stamps and different color inks and stuff. So I thought about using that travel at the top, but decided not to um, because, again, I needed to figure out a title. I do have some pocket cards that for the collection, and I found this one that had just explore kind of at the top, and I decided to try and make that work for my title. I am using the visual triangle with my embellishments, the top left, top right, and kind of the middle of my photos there. Um, I did decide that that world was a little big, and so I replaced the ephemera with the sticker, which was just a tad bit smaller. Um, and then these canvas flares from Scrap and Happy Studio, I love these colors so much. They're so pretty, and they work so well with this collection, so I can't wait to kind of use them again um, when I do another layout with this collection. So now I'm just kind of committing to all of the placements of the, um, the pieces. I kept the top left as is, um, and the bottom I think just is gonna have those three pieces, uh, but then needed to work on the top a little bit. And I didn't know if leaving that pocket card there, if you could really tell that that was the title. So instead, I used the travel um, ephemera piece and I searched through all of my stickers and my embellishment. So I apologize that I'm not doing anything right now, but off camera, I am searching for an ampersand. I think I said that right. If not, I apologize. Um, and finally found one on a Vicki Wooten um, like title sticker sheet. So it's really small. It is black, but I guess which bugged me at first because I feel like it is kind of a navyish color um, with some of the embellishments, but then I realized there is black on the worded paper. So um, once I found that, I was okay with using the black ampersand. And I'm going to place that in between, and I felt like using that kind of helped make that my title. So I kind of just pieced, pieced pieces together for my title there, but really like the way that it turned out um and then kind of layered that compass behind that other circular piece of ephemera on the top left and i don't know thought about adding some arrows thought about adding some heart or stars too but just i don't know i don't think i really could commit to that so instead i decided to go back to my stamps and i have this kind of 
small stamp that is hearts. And so I decided to use the Harbor ink and kind of stamp those hearts around, um, kind of on the title there. And here is a good view of that. And then any of the other straight edges of some of the papers, I guess, I added those hearts as well, just to finish off the layout. So I hope you guys are excited about this mini series. So stay tuned in on Saturdays in this month. Um, I will have a new layout using six by six papers and hopefully inspire you to use yours up as well. I hope you enjoy it and we will see you next time. Bye guys.